nature, wild or elegant, architecture, grand, ornate or mysterious, intriguing histories, wildlife to cherish. This is Green Sand Country. So much to explore. A special area of England that spans three counties on and around the Green Sand Ridge. From Leighton Buzzard in Bedfordshire, in the parish of Leighton Linslade, a market town with over 70 listed buildings and one of the finest churches around. All Saints, built in the 13th century with its incredible 190-foot spire. To Gamlingay in Cambridgeshire, an ancient village with signs of Bronze Age settlement. The parish is home to two nature reserves, including ancient woodlands and as an award-winning eco-hub. Leighton Buzzard and Gamlingay mark the two ends of the well-known Greensand Ridge walking route and the scenic Greensand Cycleway. Greensand country spans a wooded sandstone ridge over 40 miles long. Its particular landscape and geology results in especially rich natural and cultural heritage made up of a mosaic of diverse habitats. Expansive historic parklands have helped create a distinct sense of place, with heritage and veteran trees across landscapes designed by Capability Brown and Humphrey Repton, amongst others. One of these is Ampthill Park, the royal hunting ground once home to Ampthill Castle, where Catherine of Aragon lived in 1533 during the history-defining divorce initiated by Henry VIII. There are stunning landscaped gardens, such as at Rest Park, where you can enjoy a range of landscape styles spread over 90 acres and experience the evolution of the English garden over the centuries. And then there's the Swiss Garden at Shuttleworth, where a picturesque Regency and Victorian layered garden awaits you. Home to an Indian kiosk, a quirky Swiss cottage, a grotto, fernery, and even peacocks. The area is also home to the famous deer herds of Woburn Abbey, who live in 3,000 acres of parkland. We have wetlands, such as the nationally significant Flittick Moor in the heart of the Flit Valley, where there's a mix of fen, meadow, wet woodland, and fragile peaty soils. Tall reeds fringe open water where frogs and toads spawn in spring. A truly tranquil environment to explore. We have mature and varied woodlands with all manner of native species. You'll find a place to unwind amongst the oak, birch, alder or ash. There are sculpture trails to investigate, such as at Rushmere Country Park and even some herons for company. Greensand Country contains all of Bedfordshire's heathlands protected environments that are isolated ecological gems. They're home to heather, creating swathes of purple blooms across the heath in late summer, as well as uncommon insects like iridescent green tiger beetles and protected reptiles such as the shy and elusive adder. Each habitat plays its role. Our stunning architecture and monuments spanning the centuries and styles just have to be seen. From atmospheric ruins to neoclassical Georgian wonders such as Mogahanger Park designed by Sir John Soane and landscaped by Humphrey Repton. 
There are Regency masterpieces such as Rest Park, uniquely designed in the Louis XV style, a truly jaw-dropping building. And then there's impressive Jacobean style estates, such as Shuttleworth, the glorious Victorian house with its distinctive clock tower. Green Sand Country is also a working landscape. As well as forestry, the wider Green Sand Country area, either side of the ridge, is a productive farming area. The fertile land has given farmers opportunities to adapt to market changes. Agriculture, animal husbandry, mixed farms and market gardens play an important role here. Community-based enterprises thrive here too, like Warden Abbey Vineyard. There's so much for you to get involved with, and so much to explore. Using footpaths, bridleways and cycle paths, all in the heart of the English countryside. Plan your adventures at greensandcountry.com.